Juddle Place. Do you think I'd be able to go horse racing with Yoshi? You know, like, what are they called? The jockeys. Could Mario be a jockey with Yoshi? I mean, I know Yoshi can't run that fast, but, you know, he's kind of like a horse. Anyways, welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. I am Juddle Plays, and the Yoshi Star Galaxy is calling us. I don't know if you've actually noticed yet, but I've changed my intro up a bit. I stopped doing the, well, hey, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players thing, and started doing something new, more simplistic. I don't exactly know if you guys are going to like it or not, but it's here to stay, because... I wanted a whole new revamping for my channel. While some things stay the same, like possibly my commentary style, other things change. Like that. That is one of the things that did actually change. But now, as you saw, the mission is spiny control, and we have a little bit of a spiny problem <coughs> Excuse me, in the Yoshi Star Galaxy. Now that I've tasted meatloaf from the, uh, which is the name of the area that is, I'm actually gonna beep that out because I don't want that in the episode So uh, editing Jordan make sure to beep that out because Someone may know what I'm talking about if I do say that Word right there or a phrase that I said they may know or have a better idea of where I live because it's not a chain Yeah you gotta be careful with that, Jordan. Don't be talking about chains like that, or non-chains, I should say. Mom and Pop Restaurants is a better name. But yeah, I should probably mention, you can uh, grab these with Yoshi and shoot them at these things here, and you can get certain things to happen, like creating a launch star. I don't know what's over there. I guess that's just a shitload of... I'm actually gonna go over here. I've never gone over here in a playthrough or a Let's Play because I just never thought of it as necessary. I was trying to kill the Lakitu, but I decided... What, what, what am I talking about? I didn't decide. Fate just made it so I did not hit the Lakitu. Also, there were a lot less freaking uh, star bits that I thought would have actually been there. That was also weirded wordly, and can I please shoot a spiny boy correctly? That would be really nice, because I could continue on with this mission. That is an awesome pose. That little, little backflip there with Mario and Yoshi, and is there- Oh yeah, that's actually really nice. Those, like, shitload of star bits are still there from the volcano in the second mission. I was not entirely sure if that was the case. Now, I know this little Lakitu is going to be a pain in my buttocks, but we're gonna try- Okay, well that went a lot smoother than I thought it would. I really don't need the star bits in there, so all I'm going to do is just go into the launch star and continue on. Because part of me wants to go through some of these galaxies a little faster, and the other part of me doesn't. I'm still debating on that, and also, wait, did that fruit give me coins? Oh wait, I don't think it did give me coins, I think it gave me one star bit, and I just ran in some flowers and it gave me coins. Now, this planet is totally optional, but it's really fun to come to because the gravity is crazy. Because, just look at this shit. Like, you're trying to run on certain things, and you're jumping from, like, platform to platform, and I believe one of these platforms under them has a ex external shroom? No, no, it's right here. It's not under it at all, but it has a life shroom, which I believe you could also... Okay, um, we're going to need to jump to this planet and then to this planet, because I... Oh, oh hello? There we go. Oh, yeah. That's also the problem with that little planet right there. The planetoids makes it really hard to jump from platform to platform because they each have their own gravitational pull. Now, can I, like, actually side flip here and actually make it up? Okay, now can I side flip here and make it up here? Oh my god. I did not know you could do that. Well, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to actually grab this, like, pull this out, and then grab the Lakitu thing, whatever, the spiny, I mean, and then run up here, and then shoot the spiny at that area. But, as you saw, I found an easier way to do it, and also there was a one-up on the top of that area. Well, I can't get it now. Anyways, it looks like we're about to fight a boss, because... Well, that ominous purple cloud kind of looks like a boss. And welcome to, uh, this guy. 
I don't really know if he has a name because the mission's just called like spiny control. Most missions with a boss have like the name of the boss in the title. Like, let's say from Super Mario Galaxy, like Baron Burrs, whatever, I forgot what it was, or let me say no, Pee Wee Piranha's Temper Tantrum. That's a perfect example of it. But this guy, even though he's the second boss in the game, I do not like him that much. Or I guess he may be the third. Well, what I'm trying to say is you could technically only do the first three missions, like the first two in uh, Sky Station Galaxy and then one in Yoshi Star Galaxy and then continue on to the next galaxy, which has another boss as the first mission. So in that circumstance, this would be the third boss, but everyone I know plays the stars in basically a chronolog chronological order which I think is the best way to do. Oh my god. I, oh my, please don't die. I don't want the uh, embarrassment of freaking dying on this boss. I've never died on this boss. I've had a troublesome time on this boss, but I've never actually died. And that was, I wasn't actually expecting that spiny to hit him. I honestly don't know exactly what happened. All I know is I, <laughs> I got hurt. As you can tell. Okay, Yoshi, come back here. I have to get the star with you. If I don't get the star with you, then that'd be stupid. Because look, I never, I didn't mention it the first time, but there's a little animation with Yoshi when you get the star, and it's really cute. And I love it. I love it dearly and so much. It is my brother. It is my baby. It's my brother and baby. I really hope it's not my brother and baby, because I don't have a brother, and I also don't have a baby. Oh yeah, also every 100 coins you get a 1-up. I totally forgot about that. There's really nothing else to do on Starship Mario. They usually will show something to do on the Starship when you go back to it, but as you saw, it's not there, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, technically, we could go to the, well, the Spin Dig Galaxy, but... We do have 300 star bits, so we might as well go to the, like, see what this Hungry Luma wants. I forgot to tell you, it's also called the Hungry Luma. Looks like you found a Hungry Luma. Hope you've got a stack of star bits, because these guys can eat. Or those guys, technically. But luckily, this guy only wants 300 star bits. They're not all this cheap. This guy is a pretty small metabolism that 300 star bits gets him that fat. But the concept of Hungry Lumas is that you feed them the star bits, they go out into the galaxy, and they create a little path there. It's pink, so you know it's the Hungry Luma galaxy. And a galaxy appears. A new galaxy, to be precise. And that's the galaxy we're going to next, because I personally want to do this, and Hungry Luma galaxies are usually really short with only one star, and I really want that thing of star bits there. But we have to do the flip swap galaxy before we can get said star bits. So let's just let's go in the flip swap galaxy and see a concept that appears many times after this game, but not exactly the same way. Think before you shake. That is an interesting title, but you will know the reason why it's think before you shake. Now, if you've played any other games like Super Mario 3D Land or Super Mario 3D World, you kind of know what these platforms are. They're like Switch platforms. But in those games, whenever you jump, they switch. But in this game, whenever you shake, they switch. Which I can see why they changed it from shake to uh, jump in the other games, because you could not shake in those games. You could only jump. And I will say that when it changes after every jump, it makes it a lot harder. As someone who's basically 100%ed Super Mario 3D World and has gotten, has gotten to, like, the last missions of the game, I can atone or attest or... Why would I say atone? That's like I'm atoning for my sins. That is not the wordplay I'd want to be going for. But what I'm trying to say here is that, uh... One, I'm lucky I didn't die there because I was, I was sure I was gonna die. Uh, thank you, Goomba, for dying. I wish I could get your coin, but... That's not going to happen. What I'm trying to say is, in this game, you can shake, and it's not as bad because every time you jump, they do not change. So, 
you can actually do this galaxy without changing any platforms. I remember I saw one of my old YouTube friends do that. Uh, I don't believe he creates content anymore, and if he does, I have no idea what channel he does it on, because the current channel he has is not active currently. Which really sucks, because I really loved his channel. He made some good content, and he's like he was like a nice friend. It just sucks that I haven't really talked to him since 2013. And I believe August of 2013 was the actual, like, date it was the last time I talked to him. And it really sucks because it's been almost five years. Like, SSJ4 Choda, if you're out there and you're still subbed to my channel and for some reason watching this, hit me up on Discord. That also reminds me, I do have a Discord that you can actually go, and I just spit all over my pop filter. That's what the pop filter's for, kids, but... I do have a Discord. And I'm going to put up that little key that you can use to, like, access my Discord on the screen right now. So if anyone wants to, like, talk to me on Discord or add me as a friend, I believe you can talk to people without adding them as a friend on Discord. See, you can tell I'm a noob to Discord. I haven't had it for long. I actually first got it because I had a group project in my, uh, one college class, which was software engineering. But, yeah, just... If you ever want to talk to me, you can just add me on Discord with that little number thing. You brought back a Star Bunny. <laughs> know the one thing in the galaxy cuter than one of those? Nothing, that's what. Ha ha ha, did I get you on that one? Yeah, I think you did. Like, I mean, he's kind of cute. I mean, I could think of things cuter than a Star Bunny. A nice dog. What, what does he have to say? Shake Wii Remote when you're in mid-jump. Spinning will give you just a little more oomph. That's something... Well, first, how do you think I jump so high, boyoing? Try it with me. Yes, jump, spin, you get a little more height. I remember... Like, I don't know, I think it was on Nickelodeon back in 2007 when Super Mario Galaxy first came out. They are like, cool tip. If you jump and spin, you get extra height. And I hadn't played Super Mario Galaxy then, so I'm like, oh my god, that's an awesome tip. Then I realize, you do that so much in the game. Let's have a shin dig at spin dig. I just thought of that off the top of my head. I just came up with it off the top of my head, and I'm really proud of that. Dig a leg's planet. Okay, dig a leg. Okay. I was thinking a naughty word there for a second. Now, can you actually skip? No, you can't. Okay. Later on, if you go back to a mission you've already played and you press A, you can skip that little opening and go right to here. So that shows that that is not a loading time. That is just something that's there. Also, remember when I said we weren't going to see a power-up for a little bit? Well, I thought it was going to be a little bit later because I totally forgot about the spin drill. Man, you can tell that I am not a Super Mario Galaxy 2 player or connoisseur that often. Can I backflip with this? No, I cannot. I can side flip with this, I know that. But I don't think I can get up there. But, when in doubt, if you want to get up there, just, like, go on the other side of the planet and spin at these indented areas. And you can get to the coins. That is the power-up, basically. Just go to another side of a planet or area and just spin, and you can go up to the top. I was thinking of getting the life, but this is the last episode of the recording session, and also the last star I'm doing in the session, so there's almost no point. Ack! How did you get up here? Keep an eye out for other Lumas ahead. Try to find them, too. Well, as always, you created a power... You did not create a power star. I don't think Lumas ever create a power star. I don't know why I said that. Okay. Also, actually, I thought that thing was going to be here, but it is not, so never mind. There are things that show up in galaxies. I believe you saw it in the first mission of, uh, almost a good egg galaxy. The first mission of, uh, Sky Station Galaxy. There are these things, like, these billboards. Uh, they're electronic. They show up every now and then. And, well, mostly they show up if you've been dying for a while, and they show you what you can do. There's also something... A little bit later in the game that I'm not going to really get into right now because it doesn't need to be mentioned personally right now okay uh I forgot how to do this puzzle for a second but now I remember you're supposed to go up there or technically down and then you can get up to this area which is what we need in order to continue 
I thought some of these Lumas automatically talk to you, but this one you have to talk to by yourself. Whoa, where'd you come from? More Lumas are waiting for you up ahead. Now, as you might have seen before, this, or at least I'm not exactly sure if you, you must have seen it before. The spin drill is one of the power-ups that automatically goes away once you go into a launch star. Yes, yeah, some power-ups do that. I'm not exactly sure what uh, the other power-ups that do that are. I know there's one in, like, freaking I think, Super Mario Galaxy that does that too. But I'm not entirely sure what it is. Now, can I? Okay, I can spin you. Spinning those guys is actually really hard because, as you see... A lot of the time, they're just spinning like that, like little greedy buttholes. Even though they're not really greedy in that aspect. They're just little spinners. Like, not like those dancers. And not like the cycling classes. What do they call those? Like, spinners? What is it? Like, those cycles that you do. And it's a certain class at, like, gyms and shit. I forgot what it's called. It's, you know, it's the bikes. God, what is it? What it, I I do not know. I might look it up and put it on the screen right now. Not pictures of it, but like what I'm talking about. But I don't think I'm going to. Now, before I use the spin drill, I want to check something. Can I actually triple jump up here? Yes, I, I believe I can. But I don't want to do that, actually. Because if you go down here and spin drill, or you can actually go in anywhere, you can get a shitload of coins. Like, look at this shit. That is freaking awesome. Now, with the spin drill, as you can imagine, you want to be careful with the Wii Remote. You don't want to accidentally shake it, because if you do, you could accidentally go somewhere you don't really want to go. And I love that they show that planet right there where my cursor was kind of pointing to, because that's actually a planet you go to in the second mission of this galaxy. Gya! It's you, Mario, right? Like our new ship? It's called a Starshroom. We're shoving off soon. Oh yeah, I forgot to introduce myself. I found this nifty headlamp, so I am now the Toad Brigade Captain. There's a pretty scary monster just past here. Be careful. He does look pretty scary. Mostly because he's bigger than that planet. So wouldn't that mean he has the gravitational pull? Because if he's bigger than the planet... Well, actually, I think gravitational pull deals with mass, moreover. I don't know. Anyways, there's this thing right here that we can talk to. Luma Lee Luma Bop. Welcome to the Luma Shop. I can sell you something helpful for so... I fucked that up really bad. Uh, no thanks actually, because... I really don't want an extension shroom for this. Because I want to keep some star bits for later. Because we have more Hungry Lumas in the uh, home worlds, and I want to make sure I have as many star bits as I can. And also, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna die to this boss. Now that I said that, I'm probably gonna die to this boss. Now, this is Diggleg. He is a very interesting boss because we use this power-up. But then again, like most uh, bosses in Super Mario Galaxy, you usually use the power-up that you are introduced to in the level for the boss. Now, you don't have to dig back before he lands. He will land on the opposite side of where you are. But now, after every... Okay, I thought after every hit he like does more of those, but as you see... He is not showing his vulnerable spot currently. He is only showing his non-vulnerable spot that shoots these things right here. Which personally, I would say you do not want to uh, leave those unattended. You want to stomp on them. You want to stomp on them as fast as you can because they are a really big nuisance, especially for later in the game when we get to comets. Because let's just say there's a comet with this mission that makes it a little bit harder. Also, I wasn't running for a second, but I believe that was because where I was, I would have had to hold the down button to move forward. Now, let's just jump on here and then attack Diggleg for the last time. I honestly think that was the smoothest time I've ever had fighting that boss. I didn't even get to show that if you miss him and hit his, like, foot, it shoots you back to the other side, like... That's something I forgot. Also, something really cool. If you dig, you land right into the star. Like, what's the point of running around if you can just use that dig power-up and go right to the star? Like, there is no point. And after that star, I believe we are... It's about time to close this episode, because... I did what I wanted to. I got more than two stars. I got three. Will I get four in the next episode? Probably not, because I think three is a good amount of stars for an episode, but look at that. Look at all the shit we have unlocked currently. That is freaking crazy. 
I don't know why I'm saying all this shit, because we literally only have two galaxies unlocked now. Like, two new galaxies unlocked. And then later in the game, you get to a point where it unlocks, like, 15... No, not 15, like, six galaxies at a time. Which is really cool. I believe that's World 5, actually. Don't put, like... Don't put me on that, or... Like, don't quote me on that, is what I'm trying to say. God, I cannot, like, think of words today. Oh, one of my little guys is back. I was wondering what happened to this little feller after he fell off. Feller fell off. That, that was kind of a joke. He built the ship to get back, huh? That's my crew for you. I think the Toads built the ship, but okay. Uh, those guys are all friends of yours, right? Even if they weren't friends, they can still chill out. Mario's starship is, like, open 24-7 to the public. If you ever want to visit that ship, you can get there with the warp pod. Pad. Pod. It was pad, but I'm gonna call it pod because I did. Now, before we actually do end off the episode, I was about to get a life, but I realized that would be meaningless unless I keep my Wii U on, and I don't want to do that. Let's go on this little, uh, transportation pad right here to the starship and talk to some of these toads up here. Also, there's a life. That makes up for the life I didn't try to get. That spaceship is supposed to look like Mario, but if you ask me, it looks more like Luigi. I wonder how Luigi is doing. He's still back in the Mushroom Kingdom, right? Well, he might be. I'm not entirely sure, though. It looks like a Luma named Lubba is in charge here. Despite being a bit curt, this Luma seems to be well regarded by the crew. And Captain Toad, what do you have to say? Hi Mario, we are the Toad Brigade. Our goal is to find Power Stars and save Princess Peach. Worry not, because we've got it all under control. This mission is child's play for the Toad Brigade. And I guess I'll talk to this Luma. When that monster did us in, I fell to the ground in front of that castle. Your friends wanted to help you find all of the Power Stars. So we Lumas all pulled together and built this ship to get them here. Sorry about that cut, I had a little bit of a cough here, and I wasn't sure if we talked to this toad yet, but I guess we did not. We didn't yet. The Lumas made us a ship that looks like a mushroom. How amazing is that? Plus it actually worked and got us back here safely. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And so it is canon, the Lumas did make the ship. Anyways, that is about it for this episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the next episode, as usual... We're continuing with the game, going back on this platform here, or maybe we're doing it in this episode because I purposely went on it, and going back to the Spin Dig Galaxy, and possibly doing one of these two gal- Actually, we're definitely doing one of these two galaxies because I am not, in the name of anything, doing only one mission in an episode. So, this has been Juddle Plays saying see you later and goodbye.